Hey everyone, it's Emily. So today we are going to do a little outing today and we have a hundred dollars to spend. So um, yeah, so we got a hundred dollars to spend and I'm gonna break this down. I am going to do a little shopping and I'm gonna get to grab something to eat for me and Ashton. Although she'll be staying at home today, I will just take her something back to eat. Um, and yeah, so Anyway, I'm at the Dollar Tree now, as you can see, and we have a $25 budget in Dollar Tree, okay? So, I am going to go up in here and I'll spend my $25, and I'll be back to show you guys what I buy. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm in the car, and I'm ready to go. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. Hey, everyone, it's Emily, so I'm back. And um, like I said earlier, we have a hundred dollars to spend today. We had an outing to do with a hundred dollars, so um, I needed to go to Dollar Tree. And so these are the things that I picked up at Dollar Tree. I'm gonna do a quick Dollar Tree haul, and then I'm gonna explain to you about the money that's left on the table. So what I picked up from Dollar Tree is these absurd 225 count cotton swabs. I picked up these 80 count of cotton, absurd cotton rounds, 100% cotton cotton rounds. Then I picked up the absurd 100 per cotton cotton balls and you get um, 100 cotton balls in this package. I picked up two packs of the 60 count plackers, dental flosses. Okay, so I have something that I'm gonna do with all of this stuff. And I'll show you um, guys in another video of me stocking up my um, personal hygiene items in my bathroom. Then I picked up these three pack baskets. These are like some little storage baskets. I picked this up to organize my um, bins uh, for my personal hygiene items. Then I picked up two of these. This is a two pack of these types of baskets here. Okay, so I picked those up. They have some really good storage items right now in Dollar Tree. Okay, then I picked up one of these uh, wild cherry uh, little tree hangers to go in my car. I picked these up, I need it, I have to dust, so, and I, and I really, really like this, guys. So check this out if your Dollar Tree has this. It's like a 360, um, little duster it comes with um two dusters the white part and it comes with one handle so and it works pretty good guys comparable to um like the little swiffer um swiffer uh dusters i think this is pretty good from the dollar tree i picked up these here these are my favorite um disinfectant wipes from the dollar tree kills cold and flu and it's you get 25 percent more wipes in here so you get a total of 30 wipes for a dollar 25 this is the fresh scent i picked up these here i like to get my cups from the dollar tree they usually have red ones but this time they had blue so and these are good quality compared to healthy brand cups so uh put in they're not they're really heavy duty they're not like real flimsy or anything so I picked up 16 of those. It's a package of 16. So that's all of the household items that I picked up. So then I'm gonna go come around here. Actually, I have one more personal hygiene item that's sitting over here by itself. I picked this up for my daughter. She needs to wash her hair today. And we, me and her both have like a really dry, itchy scalp. So um, I wanted to pick this up to see how well this works. We usually use Nazarel AD, which is really good dandruff shampoo. And this has the same active ingredient in it, that pyrithone zinc. I know I probably messed up the um, pronunciation of it, but um, the Nazarel AD has that active ingredient in it as well. So it says helps relieve itching, dryness, and light flaking. So I wanted to give this a try to see if it's comparable to the Nazarel AD. So I'm gonna use this on her hair. 
Um, and I'll come back and see if I can do a review on this later. If anybody else has used this from the Dollar Tree, let me know. Okay, so here's the food part of the video. I picked up one pack of um, this Boom Chicka Pop. And we are out of snacks, so I decided to go to Dollar Tree to pick up some snacks for the week. So I got a pack of the Angie's Boom Chicka Pop. It's a sweet and salty kettle corn popcorn. This is really got good, you guys. It's 70 calories per cup. I picked up two bags of the Wise Honey Barbecue Chips. My daughter really likes honey barbecue chips, so I picked that up for her. So I picked up two packages of chips for her. Then I picked up a 20 piece pack of the Dentin Ice um, Peppermint Gum. This helps me with nausea. I get nausea from time to time. So I like to try to keep some peppermint or peppermint gum on hand. So I picked this up and it's sugar free. You get 20 uh, pieces in here. I picked this up right here for one of the students at my school. Um, for a little treat for him. This is some um, Twix bars. Okay. Then I picked up um, this butterscotch candy. This is like one of my favorite little candies. Um, it's the Ruthers original, um, Ruthers original Caramel Hard Candies. It's kind of old school, but I really like the butterscotch taste. It says the classic candy made with real butter and fresh cream. So I picked this up for myself. I picked up two Rice Krispie treats for my daughter. And like I said before, I don't offer all of these treats to her at one time, but it's the snacks of choice. She gets one snack per day, so it's the snack of choice for her for the week. Then I picked up these drinks here. These are the Fago Colas and the Fago Twist. Now, I'm gonna say, so you so get four cans for $1.25. I'm gonna say that these are really, really good compared to name brand sodas. They are really strong and I really, really, like the these fago twists they're very comparable to sprite you guys so if you have a dollar tree check those out um i think a lot of people know about these because they are almost sold out almost every time that i go so whenever i get a chance i just pick up a bunch to keep on hand and you can't beat four for a dollar 25 and i think a pack costs about four dollars at um, your local grocery store. I think it's a pack of 18 for about $4. So I think this is a, uh, I think when I did the math, the cans of four come out to a better deal compared to buying a box at like your local grocery store. Okay, so let me know if anybody else like Fago sodas. I think the Fago Cola and the Twist are the best. And they also have Fago Orange as well, which I haven't tried those yet. Okay, so then I picked up the this here. This is like really good and tasty, you guys. This is the Arizona Mucho Mango Fruit Juice. I really, really like this. They do sell these in cans in some store. So I think this is the biggest um, amount that I've seen for the for the Dollar Tree to carry this for a dollar uh, twenty five. You get thirty four fluid ounces for a dollar twenty five. You can't beat that. So. Um, check out Dollar Tree for that and then I want to try this here this is the Ocean Spray Cran Apple I've never tried this uh, flavor before so I picked this up and it is 25 fluid ounces for $1.25 and so yeah so that's everything that I picked up so I went in the store and I had a budget of 25 to spend and I actually ended up spending uh, 30 so I went five dollars over my budget, but I did find five dollars um, Outside of my Amount so this is what we have to spend for the day. We had a outing today of a hundred so I budget out a hundred to spend for the day for just going out and that includes lunch um, that includes that included my Dollar Tree shopping haul, and then I'm going to um, I'm gonna go get lunch, and then I'm going to go 
head to a home decor store and see what I can get and what I can spend there. So yeah, I'll be back to share with you guys what I um, get for lunch and what I spend at the home decor store. I hope you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. All right, you guys, so I'm back. And I wanted to show you guys what I was having for lunch. So I stopped at Jack in a Box. And I got some chicken strips and a medium fry and a Dr. Pepper. So this is what I'm having for lunch. And that, um, this meal right here was, I think, $13. And I got, I'm going to have plenty left over, you guys. So. I'm gonna probably eat about three of the strips and leave two late, later. But yeah, so this is my lunch for the day from Jack in the Box. All right, and so I think we have like 60 something bucks. And when I get to my next destination, I'll count the money before I go in. So yeah, I'm just like sitting in the car and I'm gonna eat this really fast. And we're gonna go to um, our next stop is at home store. All right, and we'll see what we can get into there. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. So, hey everyone, I'm back. So, I did go to the at-home store. And this is what I purchased with the rest of the money that I had. Um, I purchased these mirrors here. It's like three gold mirrors. And I purchased, it says $20, but it was actually on sale for $15. So, I got these mirrors here from the at-home store. And... I purchased this little cactus plant for my kitchen. I wanted to add a little bit of greenery to my kitchen. So I picked up this six inch cactus in a pot and that was $5. And then I picked this up for $12.99. It's basically just a little container to hold my cutlery, like my big stirring spoon, mixing spoons and, um, kitchen utensils basically big kitchen utensils for cookware um i didn't have a, we don't have i don't have a drawer that will fit that stuff so i'm gonna have to put this on a counter and have the stuff in this little container on my camp counter so yes yeah, so I, I went to at home and i think i spent it ended up being like 35 dollars and then i had 22 dollars left of the hundred dollars that I budgeted out for my little day out today. And I went and I spent $15 on this. And then I spent um, like $4 on some sunscreen for my daughter. So yeah, so I got this little three car drawer and it comes with wheels. I purchased this to go upstairs in my um, hallway closet. I mean, in my hallway to hold some of my personal hygiene items. And so, yeah, so that that's basically what I did today. Um, I had a little girl's day out by myself. I went out and I set a $100 budget. I went to the Dollar Tree. I went to Jack in the Box and had lunch. Then I went to that store. It's, uh, it used to be called Garden Ridge, but, uh, yeah, I guess it was sold, but it's, it, they sell the same stuff as Garden Ridge. But now it's called At Home Store. And they sell very, uh, like just various uh, home decor items in there. I mean, they sell everything. Rugs, pictures, bathroom stuff, uh, floor, pla you know, like uh, fake floor arrangements and flowers. And um uh, they sell lamps, any type of home decor you can find it in there. It's a big warehouse type of store. You can find reasonable things in there, and they have some more high end stuff in there as well. But most of the things are reasonable. So yeah, so that's what I um did. I um went there, and after I went there, I went to Walmart, and I picked up that little container. So yeah, so that was my trip out. Um, single mom trip out today on a hundred dollar budget that was my spending budget for the day i think i did pretty well i had lunch i bought i went shopping and then i got some things for the house so i think i did pretty well today 
So yeah, so thumbs up if you like these types of videos. Um, shopping a shopping trip, a day out with me, a single mom on a budget. Um, and like I said, I set a budget that was um very doable for somebody that's on a low income like me. So thumbs up or leave a comment if you would like to see more videos like this. Take care, you guys.